Good morning children. How are you? Today's topic is time. To, today we are going to discuss the days and months and how many months are there and how we will count them on our feast that they are having 31 days and 30 days. In my previous video already I have discussed there which how many months are 31 days and how many months are 30 days. Today also we are going to revise the same topic and moreover we will discuss about some fill in the blanks. Let us go to the first question. 7 months have 31 days. So already we know there are 12 months in a year. So in a year there are 12 months and there are 7 months having 31 days. 4 months are having 30 days and 1 month that is February either it will have 28 days or 29 days. That depends on the leap year that I am going to discuss later on. So out of 12 months, 7 months have 31 days, 4 months have 30 days and 1 month have either 28 or 29 days. So which are the months having 31 days? They are January, March, May, July, August, October, December. These are the 7 months they have 31 days. So what are they? January, March, May, July, August, October and December. Next question. 4 months have 30 days. So already I discussed that 4 months out of 12 months, 4 months have 30 days. So which months are having 4, 30 days? They are April, June, September and November. So the 4 months are April, June, September and November. So these are the 4 months having 30 days. Now next one. In a leap year, February has 29 days. So what is a leap year? In, a, in common, every year has 365 days. A year has 365 days. But a leap year has 366 days. After every 4 years, after every 4 years, leap year comes. Leap year comes after every 4 years. And in that month, uh, that year, February has 29 days. Otherwise, in normal year, February has 28 days. So, what I told, in a leap year, February has 29 days. And in total, in a leap year, there are 366 days. Now, how to remember in an easy way, which month has which days. Now, you can make up a fist and you can see the upper portion in your hand, everyone you can feel the bone on that upper portion you can feel. So the upper one will be treated as 31 and the down portion will be treated as 30. So whenever we will count, we can see the months coming, which are coming on the top, they will be treated as 31 days and those who will come down, those months will have 30 days. Now you see I am going to count from here, January. It is on the top, that means 31 days. February down, that means 28. Then March up, that means 31. April down, that means 30 days. May up, that means 31 days. June down, that means 30 days. July up, that means 31 days. Now August again top, that means 31 days. That means June... Uh, uh, July and August both are having 31 days. Then September down it is having 30 days. October up that is 31 days. November down it is 30 days. And December up that means it is having 31 days. So easily on your feast you can find out which month is having which how many days is. Now how many days you can find by making your feast. Now next question. A leap year has 366 days. Now only I discuss a leap year has 366 days. Leap year comes after 4 years. So after every 4 years leap year comes. Whenever in a calendar you will see February has 29 days. That means easily you can tell that that year is known as leap year. That year is having 366 days in total throughout the year. And February, if it is having 29 days, that means that year 
will be considered as leap year. Generally, a year has 365 days. Generally, a year has 365 days. So, these are the very important points you should remember. Again, I am revising. 7 months have 31 days. 4 months have 30 days. And February may have 28 or 29 days. If the year is leap year, that means in that year, February has 29 days. Normally, February has 28 days in normal year. A year has 365 days. In a leap year, there are 366 days. A leap year comes after every 4 years. Now, if in the spelling part, if I am asking, name the month having longest words or uh, alphabets. So, which month has the longest spelling? Yes, it is September. You count S, E, P, T, E, M, B, E, R. So, the word September has 9 letters in it. So, the longest name of the month is September or the longest spelling of the month is September. And the smallest one is May. A, me, Y, me. It is having three letters. So, you have to buy hard these points because they are very important from the point of view of your exam. And try to practice counting your months on your feast. It will be easily, you can identify which month is having how many days. Okay, children. Thank you.